beneath the glow of this city, where millions walk, dream, and drift, something lingers in the night sky. Silent, unseen by most, but there are those who've dared to look up, and they have glimpsed the impossible. Brief flickers of light, shimmering in the darkness, like whispers from the stars themselves. The universe is calling. This is New York, the Empire State. From the mountains of the north to the sprawling streets of the south, we stand beneath a universe too vast to comprehend. And we tell ourselves, we know this world, but do we? Sometimes the heavens break open and what we thought we understood dissolves into the great unknown. It was here, over the quiet valleys of the Hudson, that thousands claimed to witness something that defied reason. Unearthly lights, glowing formations, hovering above them like questions from beyond. It became known as the Hudson Valley Wave. Night after night, the skies became a stage for something not of this earth. Some saw it as a sign, others as a warning. All of them forever changed. They were looking. They were listening. They were here. And further south, in the heart of Manhattan, a city always reaching for the stars. Another sighting, a flash of light, frozen in time by a photograph, an image so haunting that it remains etched in history. A reminder that though a city can be sculpted by a human hand, the skies still hold their own secrets. To the west, in Pine Bush, where the roads turn quiet and the forests close in. Locals tell stories of strange shapes moving just beyond their reach. They speak of encounters that can't be explained. Shadows in the fields, lights that vanish as quickly as they come. Is it their imagination or does Pine Bush contain something more than it seems? Even the government has not remained untouched by the mysteries of New York skies. Files, once locked away, now lie open, revealing glimpses into the investigations that sought to explain, well, the unexplainable. But for every answer found, there are hundreds more questions. What do they know that we do not? New York is a place for dreamers where every building, every tower, every life is striving upward, reaching for the sky. But when the nights fall, it is the stars that reach down to us. What do they want? What have they always wanted? This is New York, where the city's pulse hums below, but above us, something far older, far more mysterious, watches and waits. In the shadow of skyscrapers and under the canopy of forests, we are no longer alone. These are the stories of those who've seen the unseeable. This is the tale of a state where the strange becomes real and the unknown takes shape. It is here in the Empire State that we uncover the greatest question of all. Are we truly alone in the universe? So now we must follow the lights. We must trace the shadows and we must listen for the whispers from the stars.
There are places where the sky seems closer, where the stars feel like they're watching us as much as we're watching them. Look at Pinebush. It's a quiet little town. There are hums of stories of things that lie above. Fleeting glimpses of the unknown. Moments that hang between night and morning, dusk and dawn. Here, I think the horizon is thin and the distance between our world and another grows narrower with every light that dances in the sky. The Hudson Valley, known for its serene landscapes and quiet communities. Life is slower here. But in the early 1980s, something strange started happening in its skies. Over the course of several years, more than 5,000 people reported seeing the same thing. A massive, silent craft covered in bright, pulsating lights, drifting low over the valley. The sightings began in small towns in Putnam and Westchester County. On March 24th, 1983, hundreds of witnesses described a triangular formation of lights as wide as a football field hovering in the night. Some said it moved without a sound, while others claimed they could hear a faint hum. What made the Hudson Valley wave unique wasn't just the number of witnesses, but who they were. Police officers, engineers, even pilots. Credible people with no reason to invent such crazy stories. Entire neighborhoods gathered outside, watching as the lights moved slowly across the sky, disappearing into the horizon. One witness, a retired police officer, reported the craft flying directly over his house. He described it as blotting out the stars. So large, it covered the entire sky above him. Another, an air traffic controller, said it moved in ways no known aircraft could, turning at impossible angles and speeds. UFO reports across the world describe many of the same things. Speculation ran wild. Was it military, a secret project, or something extraterrestrial? Investigators from the Center of UFO Studies conducted interviews and field studies, but no definitive explanation was ever found. Though the sightings peaked in 1983 and 1984, reports continued for years. And with each one, the same question echoed through the valley. What was it that so many people saw? To this day, no official explanation has been given. The Hudson Valley wave remains one of the most well-documented UFO sightings in U.S. history. And for those who were there, the memory of those lights cutting through the quiet valley night still lingers. An unanswered mystery suspended in the sky above New York's oldest mountains. I think we often think of the unknown as distant, 
far from the places we call home. But sometimes the extraordinary finds us in the most ordinary of places, over highways and schools, rooftops, wide streets. In Westchester, something vast and silent appeared, lingering just long enough to remind us that the sky still has secrets, even above the places most familiar with. Sometimes the world below goes still as the world above comes alive. Westchester County, just north of the hustle and bustle of New York City, home to suburban neighborhoods, historic estates, and the quiet calm of the Hudson River. But in the summer of 1989, something appeared in the night skies that would change the way people here viewed their world. It started with a single report. A resident driving down the Taconic State Parkway late one evening when they noticed an enormous boomerang-shaped craft glowing with bright white lights hovering silently above the road. At first, they thought it might just be a plane, but as it remained motionless in the sky, their curiosity turned to fear. Within days, similar reports began to pour in from across Westchester. From Yonkers to Chapiqua, people described the same thing. A V-shaped object with lights arranged in a perfect arc, gliding silently over homes and highways. Unlike airplanes or helicopters, the craft made no sound, moved at low altitudes, and often seem to hover in place before speeding off at impossible angles. One witness, a local school teacher, recalled seeing the object while walking her dog one night. She described it as being so large that it seemed to cover the entire night sky. Its lights moving slowly above her street as if scanning the area. She stood frozen in disbelief, watching as it passed silently overhead before disappearing. For weeks, Westchester County residents found themselves looking up, wondering if the mysterious boomerang would return. Entire families stood outside their homes, scanning the night sky, hoping to catch a glimpse of what so many others had seen. Investigators were baffled. Some speculated that the object could be part of a secret military test possibly connected to nearby West Point or Stewart Air National Guard base. Others suggested the lights may be part of a larger UFO phenomenon sweeping through the region. Despite numerous eyewitness accounts, no concrete explanation has ever emerged. Local authorities and military officials denied any involvement and no aircraft fitting the description was ever identified. The Westchester Boomerang remains one of the most compelling and well-documented UFO sightings in New York's history. Hundreds of people saw the same thing, an enormous glowing object, defying the laws of aviation and logic alike. And yet, like so many UFO encounters, the event left behind only questions, unanswered and unresolved. The skies over Westchester County have since returned to normal, but for those who witnessed the boomerang, the memory of that silent, glowing object 
remains vivid. A reminder that sometimes the greatest mysteries are found right above our heads. I think the heavens are not always as we think they are. They can ripple, fold, change in a blink of an eye. Pine bushes skies are thick with history, with lights that flicker in the dark, promising that there's more than what we can see. As we look up, we must ask ourselves, how much of the unknown is already known to something or someone? How long have we shared this space without knowing the full story? Pinebush, New York. Just 90 miles right up the Hudson River, north of New York City. A quiet, rural town nestled in the rolling hills of Orange County, far from the wild energy of Manhattan. But for decades, this peaceful stretch of farmland has been known for something far more unusual than its small town charm. In fact, it is often called the UFO capital of the East. Since the 1960s, Pinebush has been a hot spot for UFO sightings. Strange lights in the sky, unexplained crafts hovering over fields, shadows moving in ways that defy the laws of physics. For the locals, these phenomenons have become a part of everyday life woven into the town's identity. In a way, it's their strange badge of honor. One of the earliest and most famous incidents happened in 1966, when multiple residents reported seeing a craft, bright, metallic, and shaped like a disc, hovering silently over the woods just outside town. The craft did not make a sound, and within seconds, it vanished, leaving nothing but confusion and speculation in its wake. Then, throughout the 80s and the 90s, reports seemed to surge. On a clear night in August 1988, a local farmer claimed to see a glowing triangular object slowly pass over his field, illuminating the ground below. He described it as moving low and silently. It seemed like it was just gliding above the treetops. The neighbors also reported strange circular burns in the grass the next day, marks that could not be explained. Pinebush has drawn attention from UFO researchers, journalists, and curious onlookers from across the country. Investigators have cataloged hundreds of sightings, many describing the same thing. Low-flying, silent crafts with no visible means of propulsion. Some believe it is all connected to nearby Stewart Air National Guard base speculating 
that the strange objects are military tests of secret technology. But others, they insist what they're seeing isn't anything human at all. Over the years, Pinebush has embraced its reputation as a tourist hub for UFOs. The annual UFO festival brings believers and skeptics alike, all trying to make sense of this mystery that lingers above a small town in New York. Despite the celebrations and the speculation, one fact remains. No one has been able to explain the strange occurrences in Pinebush, whether it's government technology or something from another world. The skies above this quiet town still hold secrets. As night falls and the fields grow dark, locals still look up, wondering if they'll see those lights again gliding through the air, silent, unearthly, and gone in the blink of an eye. At the farthest edge of land, where the ocean meets the sky, lies a place where secrets seem to gather. Montauk. Its windswept shores are heavy with whispers of hidden things. The past and the future blur, and stories of shadowy government experiments and unexplained lights blend into the salt air. You can almost taste them and you can certainly feel them. What forces move unseen at the edges of our perception? That's what we need to know. And what might emerge from the depths of the unknown? What is coming? Montauk, Long Island, where the land meets the sea at the easternmost tip of New York a place known for its windswept beaches, rocky cliffs, and quiet fishing villages. But beneath the surface, Montauk holds a far stranger reputation. For decades, this small coastal town has been the center of conspiracy theories, whispered secrets, and unexplained sightings. At the heart of it all, is Camp Hero, a decommissioned military base sitting quietly at the edge of the Atlantic. Officially, Camp Hero was once part of the United States Coastal Defense System during World War II. But for many, the story simply does not end there. In the years following the war, rumors began to swirl about secret experiments, time travel, mind control, and contact with extraterrestrial beings. It became the stuff of local legend, fueled by the eerie silhouette of the abandoned radar tower standing guard over the iconic landscape. But these weren't just wild tales. In the 1970s and 80s, reports of strange lights in the sky over Montauk began to emerge. Local fishermen spoke of glowing orbs hovering above the water and disappearing into the waves without a sound. 
Others described unidentified flying objects darting through the night sky, moving at impossible speeds before vanishing over the horizon. One witness, a Montauk fisherman with decades at sea, claimed to have seen a triangular craft silently hovering above his boat one foggy evening. The craft emitted a low hum, and he could feel the hair on the back of his neck stand up as it passed overhead, disappearing into the mist. He never spoke of it again. Well, not publicly. For years, these stories circulated through the town. Some say the sightings were connected to secret government projects rumored to have taken place at Camp Hero. Projects involving extraterrestrial technology, reverse engineering, and experiments on the boundaries of time and space. In 1992, a former base worker came forward with shocking claims. He alleged that Montauk had been the site of covert military experiments, including contact with otherworldly entities. His testimony reignited interest in the strange occurrences around the base, adding fuel to the ongoing theories that the UFO sightings were more than just a coincidence. To this day, Montauk remains a place where fact and fiction blur. The stories of Camp Hero, the UFO sightings, and the shadowy past of this small town continue to attract UFO enthusiasts, researchers, and of course, conspiracy theorists. But despite decades of investigation, no definitive answers have been uncovered. They found nothing but mystery. The radar tower still stands, casting its long shadow over Mondar, a silent reminder of the mysteries that linger here. Whether it's the result of military secrets or something from beyond our world, perhaps beyond our time, one thing is clear. Montauk skies hold secrets that have yet to be revealed. And for those who've looked up and seen the unexplainable, the truth feels closer than ever yet still beyond the horizon. In the Catskill Mountains, the ancient forests breathe deeply, and the sky stretches wide, undisturbed by time. But even in these still forgotten places, the air can shift towards mystery. Lights move through the trees like whispered promises, and in the silence, something watches from above. The mountains have stood witness for centuries. But now they carry the weight of something new. An unknown thing from the heavens lingers just out of reach. The Catskill Mountains, ancient, rugged, and vast. For centuries, these rolling peaks and dense forests have become a place of legend. Stories of strange beings, ghostly apparitions, and things not so easily explained have filled the whispers of locals and travelers alike. 
But in the last few decades, the Catskills have gained a new reputation. One tied to the sky above. It began in the early 1990s. Locals in the small towns scattered across the mountain range started reporting strange lights in the night. They described glowing orbs hovering silently above the treetops, moving in ways that no known aircraft could match. In the town of Phoenicia, one family watched as three bright lights appeared above the mountains, holding their position before shooting off in different directions, vanishing without a trace. But it wasn't just lights. Hikers and campers deep in the woods spoke of encounters that were harder to explain. One group of campers reported hearing a low humming sound in the early hours of the morning. And when they stepped out of their tents, they saw a massive triangular shaped object hovering above the tree line, watching. The craft was silent except for the faint hum and within moments, it shot straight up into the sky, disappearing into the stars. These encounters sparked investigations. UFOologists from across the region descended on the Catskills, eager to uncover the truth. Some believe these sightings were linked to a broader pattern of UFO activity in the Hudson Valley and across New York State, while others wondered if the Catskills remote, unpopulated areas made them the perfect place for something to hide in plain sight. One of the most unusual reports came from a state park ranger in 1994. While patrolling a section of the mountains near Catterskill Falls, a popular tourist destination, he witnessed a metallic disc-shaped craft hovering above the forest canopy. The object moved slowly, as if scanning the landscape, before it abruptly tilted and shot off at an angle, disappearing over the ridge. No sound and no trace left behind. Some have suggested the military bases farther south might be testing new technology, using the Catskills as a remote testing ground. But others, particularly those who have seen strange lights firsthand, are convinced the answer lies far beyond anything human. For those who've called the region home for generations, the sightings have become another chapter in the Catskills' long and spooky history of the unexplained. But unlike the old legends, these encounters are happening now, in the skies above some of New York's most remote and rugged terrain. As the night falls over the mountains, locals still find themselves looking up, watching for the lights to return briefly illuminating the darkness. Whether it's military, extraterrestrial, or simply something that cannot be explained, the Catskill skies continue to hold a mystery that defies all our human knowledge. One that lingers in the deep, quiet woods and echoes in the hearts of those who have seen the lights. One thing is for certain. The Catskills have more to say, but are we ready to listen?
The sky has always been our greatest frontier, our oldest mystery. It moves above us with this silent patience, a sort of galaxy of poems, holding secrets older than we are. Yet it's always just beyond our grasp. From the hills, to the coasts, to skyscrapers, and beyond. The stories we've heard leave us with more questions than answers. But I think the search is the point of it all. We're drawn to the unknown. Not to find comfort or safety, but to explore, to dream. And so we look to the stars once more. So much of the universe will remain unidentified. But we gotta go looking into the night, into the sky, into the unknown. Across our universe, across dimensions, across time and space, we have a responsibility to tell a story, to say we see you, we know you're here. And so are we. And New York is just the beginning. All across the vast storied lands of the Empire State, from the forests of the Catskills to the shores of Montauk, we've explored the mysteries that have unfolded above us. Strange lights, silent crafts, and shapes that defy explanation. These are the encounters that have lingered in the minds of those who have seen the unexplainable those who've dared to look up and wonder. In Pinebush, the quiet rural sky has witnessed generations of sightings, a reminder that even in our most familiar places, the unknown still hovers just beyond reach. In Westchester, the boomerang sailed above the suburbs, leaving behind only silence and the shared whispers of those lucky enough to see it. And in Montauk, at the very edge of the continent, the shadow of Camp Hero looms, a beacon for conspiracies that stretch the limits of our collective imagination. Each story carries its own weight its own fear, its own wonder. But together, they form a tapestry of mysteries that speak to something greater, something elusive, something just beyond our understanding. We are left with questions more than answers. What are these lights in the sky? Why do they choose these places? And are we truly alone in the universe? Or are we simply standing at the edge of a much larger story? One we have only begun to tell. To explore the unknown takes courage. The courage it takes to gaze into the night sky and wonder, to accept that not everything can be explained, but still, we seek the truth. It is this desire for knowledge, for answers, that propels us forward. We venture out into the darkness, not just to witness the unexplained, but to challenge our understanding of the world, the world we think we know. As the skies grow quiet once more and the lights fade into memory, we are left with the greatest mystery of all. What comes next? What other truths lie waiting in the stars, in the shadows, in the silent spaces above and around us? But perhaps the answer isn't in the distant stars or a far flung galaxy. Perhaps these visitors are not travelers from another world at all but beings from another dimension. Creatures 
that slip between the layers of reality itself, moving through time and space in ways we can scarcely imagine. If that is the case, then the mysteries we've uncovered are only the beginning, a glimpse into a far more complex and strange universe than we ever imagined possible. And so the question remains, are they out there or are they already here, living just beyond the veil, waiting to be seen? What if the skies over New York are only the beginning? Beyond the state lines, across barren deserts, frozen tundras, and distant oceans, stories emerge, darker, stranger. Lights that vanish into thin air, craft that seem to fold space in itself. And the visitors, maybe they're not just watching. Maybe they're moving through us, unseen. From the cold forests of Siberia, to the empty plains of Arizona. The encounters are eerily familiar. The same light, the same silence that follows, as if something ancient is trying to make contact, not with a place, but with the very essence of our being. They don't belong to the earth, or maybe they do, in ways we just simply can't understand yet. Maybe it's all connected, the patterns in the sky, the symbols they leave behind, the whispers in the night. What if the visitors aren't just from the stars, but from somewhere even farther, a place where time collapses and the past and present and future are one? What if they've always been here, waiting for us to see them for what they truly are? It is time to look closer, beyond the lights, beyond the craft. The truth isn't just out there, it's all around us, still unfolding in the great cosmic mystery that is our universe.